Hi, all you sci-fi fans out there. I just wrote a great novel, and uh, I think you're going to like it. It's called, uh, if you can see the picture here, Time Trip on a Mobius Strip. And it's about a marine biologist who finds a giant nautilus shell uh, big enough to walk into when he's about uh, 10 years old on Padre Island, Texas, on the beach there. <clears throat> and he goes in that shell uh, and hears a, a spirit kind of a voice in there that haunts him for 28 years until he goes to uh, college and uh, meets uh, the inventor of the Mobius strip, August, uh, his grandson, uh, August Ferdinand Mobius, his grandson. And uh, what happens is he, he, they decide to put a vehicle, uh, to put a Mobius strip inside the shell and then put a vehicle on, on top of the uh, strip. And so he takes a little ride on that thing. And there's a woman psychiatrist in the, in the story. You'll find out why later. Anyway, he takes a trip on that uh, Mobius strip and ends up in another dimension where he meets 16 lost people of history, including Jimmy Hoffa, Glenn Miller, Anton Saint Exupery, the writer of the uh, author of The Little Prince, uh, Anastasia, Alexander I of Russia, uh, Michael Rockefeller, uh, who was the, the son of Nelson Rockefeller, governor of New York, who disappeared in New Guinea. Uh, he, they also meet John Dillinger, who they thought they killed, but he actually had a double which I get into in the story there. Uh, also, Judge, Judge Crater is in the story. Um, Joseph Kennedy Jr. is in the story. Uh, Amundsen, the explorer, is in the story. Uh, George Lee Mallory, the guy that climbed Mount Everest, is in the story. Um, uh, Martin Borman, the Nazi, and uh, Ra Wallenberg, who saved the Jews. Uh, Amelia Earhart, I don't know if I mentioned her. Um, uh, maybe a few other people in there. Anyway, what happens is they, they there's a connection between these people, which I discovered after writing this book here. And uh, the story, the, the connection deals with roses, and uh, also the goddess Aphrodite. Now you don't know what you're dealing. Every one of these people that's in this dimension, uh, before they got in there, they saw an angel. Now they think it was an angel, but it could have also been a goddess, or or it could have been um, an archetype of the unconscious, uh, according to Carl Jung. Um, the Virgin Mary goddess, or uh, oh, well, you'll have to figure it out for yourself. You know, <laughs> it could be an angel, a Virgin Mary, or a goddess. Now, <clears throat> now the connections between them uh, are amazing. I, first of all, ro I'll give you an example. Roses, for instance. Uh, uh, there's the Palace of Roses with the Tsar. There's the uh, Roseland Ballroom with uh, Glenn Miller. There's Rose in the story in Anton Saint Exupery's book, The Little Prince, uh, which has to do with a rose. Uh, uh, there's uh, a goddess connection with uh, the Mount Everest, which uh, Mallory climbs, which is called Choma Lungma, Choma Lungma by the uh, Tibetans, which means goddess mother. Amelia Earhart's plane is named after a goddess, uh, goddess Electra. Uh, Anastasia had a, uh, a boyhood friend who founded a, a church of Aphrodite, he used to write letters to her with that. Uh, and uh, then there's that there's a there's a statue of Aphrodite on the on the mansion that Michael Rockefeller had in upstate New York, in Panatico, New York, which is an exact duplicate of the uh, of the one that's in uh, the Vatican. Uh, now, when you add this all up, you know it, 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 you'll understand why it's so important. Uh, you have to read the book to understand what I'm talking about. It's a trippy. I got the book reviewed by by uh, Curtis Discoveries. They thought it was a trippy bit of reading, taken in small bursts. I, I understand why, because you have to, you know, keep your uh, eyes peeled. Because there's a lot of information in this book, which, uh, if you're a history buff, you'll you'll love it. And uh, and so she couldn't, you know, the, the the woman that read that did the review. If you read the review, I, I have the review on Amazon. There, you can, you know, read it for yourself. I have a rebuttal comment on there, and you can see. Uh, I got other review on there, and the guy loved the book. Anyway, the point is that uh, if you're a sci-fi fan, you're going to enjoy the book. If you're a, a, a thriller fan, there's also an ingredient like that in there. Uh, there's also a part adventure story. It's a, a sci-fi story, and it's also a detective story because uh, you have to figure out where they are and how they got in there and uh, how they're going to get out of there, you know? And then this is the only sci-fi book ever written about a Mobius strip w uh, with somebody riding on it and entering another dimension. I even wrote Isaac Asimov once about collab collaboration with this book, but he refused, you know? I'm glad he did because it's, uh, the story comes out a lot better without uh, somebody screwing it up, you know? <laughs> so anyway, if you want to get the book, it's on Amazon. Uh, you can get it there. My picture's on the back of the cover there. You can see. And... Uh, well, uh, it's up to you. You know, I'm doing a commercial here. That's my my second one. The first one, the lighting sucked. So I'm in. <laughs> anyway. Uh
I know you're going to love the book. I'm a student of the uh, supernatural here, so you're going to find a lot of information in this book that's going to, you know, really uh, floor you. And uh, as you can see, uh, there is the strip right there, and he's going to ride that strip on a vehicle. There's the vehicle right there. Right? Okay, I'm signing off now. I hope you enjoyed the book. Uh, any questions, leave a comment. Thanks a lot.